Okie doke. So I've got a few more things picked out. I picked out this amazing face, and I'm going to put a teacup head on it. So I'm going to cut that out tonight. Maybe put an idea in there. I found these eyes to go on this girl. So boy eyes. Maybe those eyes, but I don't think so. And then I found these arms to go on here. And I think I'm going to put... So I had two bodies. I'm going to have to, to try them out. I have my weird guy. I'm going to put him on the colorful page. I'm either going to do the grandma body or I'm going to do the sexy girl body. But I like the little fringes. I thought they may go. But I'm 95% sure I'm going to do the grandma body. And I think that's all I have. Okay, I'm going to do some work on these and I will be back. We did some work last night on this. And I put the glasses on her. I put these girls together. I did some coloring with the Posca pen. I put these new eyeballs on here. That was fun. Oh, I put this man together and found him a body that I had in my stash. So we're gonna work on this. Oh, and this perfume eyeball. So we're gonna put that together. So work it on this guy. Let's see. Oh, I got some stuff. All right, so I did all the doodling on here. I went around with a black marker black Posca pen, and I did the doodling. I did um, the pit pen brush around it, and then I did a white outline of it. So I went around these guys three times. Um, highlighted her eyes, painted the irises, or excuse me, painted the white parts white. Outlined here, doodle did this, doodled here. Oh, sorry. I had a yawn. Okay, I stuck this down. So I found the grandma body that I'm going to use. I found, I put this on his head, a couple little dealies on the side, and put the weird hands on there. Now I'm going to paint the weird hands um, and do the neck. So that's what I've been working on there. I think that's the same. Maybe I put a few little things down. Oh, I put some more black down. So black, put the night there. And I think that is all I did. I got the, the, this guy's, this guy's body is here. I'm thinking I might do one with that. Oh, and I do know what I did. Hold on. I had to paint the background of this, and I'm here to tell you it's harder to paint it after. It's harder to paint it after than before, so from now on, I am going to paint the backgrounds before I stick the stuff down. I still have to paint this background. I still have to get some stuff for here. <laughs> All right, I think I have a little piece. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, we have a piece that could, could go right there. A little piece of graffiti. Let's see, do we want to make it? Yep, I'm just gonna put a little piece of graffiti right there and then we'll fill that edges in. This is gonna come as a shock, but I left this open. So I need my pin. Boop, boop, boop. Hold on, we gotta find my pin to open my glue up. There we go. That's cool. I like what's happening here. 
I feel like I could just fill this in with paint pen. What I'm thinking with him, okay, so there's a couple things I want to do. I want to grab Okay, I have this really light, um, hold on, that's not the one I wanted. I have this really light antique linen um, distress ink, and this is not the kind of ink I usually use. This is um, this is uh, not permanent, but see, I want to try to color that in just a little bit so it didn't seem to color down here. I am going to get that darker color. And I'm just trying to blend those lines a little bit. Now, I'm not using permanent because if I use permanent and it didn't work, then that would look terrible. So I feel like that blended that in just enough that I'm gonna be fine with it because I'm gonna come and doodle on here. Um, so what I'm gonna doodle is I am going to color her hands. I'm going to make a neck here. I'm gonna make uh, probably pink spots or orange spots or green spots or blue spots on here. Maybe all different color spots since this is the colorful page that start out big and get smaller and then maybe even come up here and become freckles, right? And then I'm gonna outline here. I'm gonna paint the back of this. I wonder what color I'm gonna paint this. Let's get this, let's get this. Let's find a color. Do we want something snazzy? That's too close to her head. I'm gonna go yellow. Yep, yellow. This is distress paint, this is mustard seed. Okay, boop, boop, boop. And with a little bit of water, Distress paint is kind of translucent, very um, spreadable. I like it very much. Um, it is water reactive when it's wet, and then when it's dry, it um, is permanent. So there's a bunch of properties about it that I would like. Okay, so we're going to paint this. And I don't necessarily need it to be uh, opaque, meaning uh, full color. See how you can still see the underneath pattern there? All right, here we go, here we go. And it's not the end of the world trying to paint this afterwards, but I do find, and I do kind of like, okay, so maybe I'm not as adamant this morning. I was really adamant yesterday. I was like, never again. But um, I do kind of like how it kind of adds an extra outline-ish. See how if we come up here and go there, then we're kind of accentuating the lines of the magazine collage image. Oh, hold on. We've got this little bit at the end. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna today work on this one. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna work on these girls and I'm gonna put, where's that other page? Do we have to paint the background of that other page? 
Okay, we need to do something with this page. I think I need to find more red stuff before I put that one together. So I'm probably gonna be working on this one and the skinny girls and this page. So I'm gonna be doodling on those three pages today and then I'll be back. Okie dokie. So I have been working on some of my pages. I got this girl all glued down. I can't remember how far I was. I think I added the sunglasses. The skinny girls are done, so stuff I did. I found these really cool eyeballs that I glued on. That was already done. I did some doodling up in here. I did blue um, pit pen, which is uh, India ink around. I did doodles on their legs, so both of their legs got pink doodles. I colored this skirt, so if you remember, this skirt had like blue and white stripes, things like that. So I added more stripes and some doodles, and then I made her skirt kind of kicky and fun, sort of like that one. Outlined some of their bits, spotty dog, stripes on their shoes, and then on the dark parts of the purple, because they were really showing up, I did lines and dots, and then I made some background color and then went over it with white with a dot so that was that one nothing happened there nothing happened there i don't remember if this one was done before i do think i told you about this one yep because i told you about the outlining this one got glued down with her weird hands so i'm gonna make her weird hands a color probably either full pink or something like that because i don't like the like the gelatinous nature of his hands. Um, but I may go in, I'm gonna go in, put his neck in, do his spotties, um, do doodling around here. I think that's all I did. You've seen this one, so I'm gonna be working on that one. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't have anything else exciting that I did last night. So that's an update. Okay, so I wanna be able to work on this page, so I'm gonna do it in two different colors. I'm gonna do the inside in this kind of salmon, which is abandoned coral, and this um, outside in candy apple. I do wanna get some more red bits, but um, I've found that I really like having, I really like having the edges be that darker color. I have a little bit of water, it's yellow, so we're gonna get an orange to start with unless we can, oh, it did fine. And then this is just a kind of a rough edge with an uppy downy, you know, in and out like, boop. Okay, we got plenty of paint, so let's go up here. And this is distress paint, which you can use with water, but I have found that using a wet brush with it really does um, help extend the paint. And this is just a little background bit, but I'm getting frustrated because I want to put stuff on this page, but I don't have a background color to it. So I wanted to do my outside with the actual darker color that's the color and then the inside with a little bit lighter color and that way down the line if I want to do um, doodling I can keep working on this page I think the one thing that that I like that you're getting to see in this that you don't normally get to see is that the pages aren't linear so I don't want you to think that I go in and I do sometimes I do for the for the magazine collage challenges where I do the $5 thing, I go in, I grab the page, I do the um, design. Uh-oh, it's getting on this page. Um, I do the design all at once. But for my big journals, like especially the uh, color block journal that I did, um, you would see a full like start to finish, but it would be like this all higgledy piggledy. And then I would just take each page and pull the videos out that I had done out of order. But this is kind of the order that I do stuff in. It's on that page again. 
so not the end of the world. Da, 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 da. Let's go right up to that line. But I forgot what I was saying. Maybe something about the fact that it's not usually concurrent like it may seem to you. It's usually uh, back and forth and back and forth and working on this one. and Because it's supposed to be fun. So if I had to go start to finish, then it becomes kind of assembly line, a job. Where this way I can have an idea, I can find a cool image, I can do some... Um, painting when I like I'm waiting for my son to call because he's at school today um, they've been home all year but they're um, testing oops I'm very bad at painting that, that backward way they're testing they had to go into school so he's at school today I had to drop him off um, since he wasn't on the bus all year they won't take him and I would have to go get him anyways to pick him up and He's only had one COVID shot. We're super excited that they opened it up for the kids so he could get his shots. Um, so here's this. We got really good coverage with this paint. This can tend to be a more translucent paint, meaning you can see through it. But I think I had enough on there. Well, it's still not, not perfect. Okay, which is kind of what I like. Okay, let's get this. Cleaned out a little bit. Now, yeah, see, I don't know if you can see. Over in my water, I have orange. All right, so now we're going to do this and make a middle. See how this is way more pinkish? So let's get this all over the place so we don't wind up with... Get a little bit of water in here. Get this moving around. I want this to be a little bit lighter. I don't know if it's... Because I have the paint on the paintbrush, but it will be well. All will be well. Oh, I may need a bigger paintbrush. That is one of the things that annoys me about me, is this paintbrush was exactly the right size for doing the edges. But now I'm trying to paint a big giant area with a little tiny paintbrush which takes longer and I think wastes paint, to be honest with you, because the paint starts to dry. I guess it's doing okay. We'll consider this our meditation time together. You and me meditating together, doing our painting. All right. And you can tell, I am not being careful. This is um, a background layer. So there's, you know, we have we already know that we're gonna have our cute guy on there. I think he has some, he has like a teacup hat. So we got stuff that's going on here. So we won't see tons of this. I mean, we'll see it, cause you always kind of see the background. Let's see if we can get that a little bit more filled in and then I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, there we go. Tiny, tiny paintbrush. Okay. Now we're going to do this. I really do kind of like the fact, though, that I'm getting a real, um, I don't know, I, ca I call it a painterly effect. I don't know what anybody else calls it, but it's not just a... Um, flat color background. It's got a little bit of um, design in it. It's got a little bit of, you know, lighter colors, darker colors. And that's kind of what I like about the distress paint is because the cheap opaque paint, the cheap um, acrylic paint, like I used for the color block journal, and I'll put a link to that here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the cheap acrylic paint I used from like Michaels and and all that that's like 79 cents a jar It's just pure um, Pure pigment like it just covers everything you don't get this kind of you would have to work to get it to be different colors It's it's not fancy like this. I kind of like this fancy paint but 
100% the normal Michael's uh, rat, red apple. I don't know what that's called, but it looks like a red. I think of it as the red apple paint because it's got like a red apple on it. Um, would work for this, right? That would totally work for this background part. Yay. We're covered. Can we move any of it around a little bit? Now, um, regular acrylic paint will move around a little bit with water. This is actually made to do that. So this may work a little bit better, but it, the other paint will do it too. So that's the background. And this is the guy with his teacup head that we're going to be putting on here. All right, I did some fun work in my journal last night and I wanna bring you up to speed. All I did was color the bottom of her hair. I colored her legs and then I colored underneath the jet yellow with Posca pen. So I'm gonna be working on this page. Those girls I think were done last time. This guy I did a ton. Whole bunch of doodling on his cup hat. Doodled around his eye. Gave him lips, doodled the doggle. The doggle had writing on him, so I had to cover that with Posca pen, but if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't notice. Uh, outlined his flower, painted his shoes. So this was a fun one. This was a bunch of doodling last night. And then I just wanna tell you, this is gonna be the last I'm gonna talk on this video but I'm gonna leave you with a cliffhanger because the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on him, make his neck and finish his hands. So watch out for that one. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.